welcome back to E! News. We've seen Kate Middleton's royal wedding coronation, but this Sunday, America crowns a princess of its own at the Miss USA pageant. I am going to be co-hosting live from Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas. I am so excited. In fact, I'm heading there tomorrow. But before I get ready for the big show, let's meet the gorgeous contestants. Blondes, brunettes, redheads, and everything in between. It's 51 of the country's most beautiful women, all competing for one highly coveted title, Miss USA 2011. This is the most talked about event of the week. But it's not all about crowns and sashes. Miss Alabama is out to prove that impossible dreams can come true. Just a few years ago, a serious car accident put her in a 12-day coma. My car actually caught on fire, and um, I was trapped in. A Walmart truck driver actually was behind me, seeing me leave the road and rescued me. During her three-month recovery period in a wheelchair, she visited her first beauty pageant and knew instantly that she'd found her destiny. I knew that day as I was watching the pageant that I wanted to be on that stage the next year and take on the crown. Miss Arizona also has big dreams of becoming the next Miss USA Sunday night on NBC after her hopes of becoming a professional ballerina ended when she suffered a severe foot injury. My mom always says that when one door closes, another one opens. And I believe that. And pageant she was that door that opened for me. I'm really excited to experience the whole new world. Miss Kentucky is confident that the crown is all Already hers. I thought that I should win because Miss USA never let that And Miss Minnesota is planning to kill the competition with kindness. My nickname is Bubbles, and so I bring a lot of energy and effervescence to the room, and I'm just hoping to bring a lot of energy and keep all the girls up beat. Her reason for wanting the crown? You get to live that royal life. It's kind of like the fantasy Kate Middleton gets to live, but you only get one year of it.